In my last video, I discussed the benefits of using a USB flash drive instead of using a CD when using a DVS. So in this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your timecode file to make it even more convenient and more useful to use. But first, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks just like this one. So now, let's get into the tutorial. In my last video discussing this topic, I talked about the benefits of using a USB flash drive instead of a CD when using timecode with DVS. The one gripe that I have with most timecode files you receive with most DVS softwares is the fact that they are actually a little too short. Now, this is mostly because these timecode files mirror the length of the actual timecode record or the vinyl. So you get 15 minutes on one side for most DVS, pieces of vinyl and then 10 minutes on the opposite side for most DVS pieces of vinyl. And you'll see that on the time code that you receive on the CDs or that you download from the websites of the respected software. Now yes, 15 minutes is enough to get through a couple songs on each side and you can always use the previous track button on the media player to restart the time code, but there is a way to extend that time code pretty much almost infinitely to get through your set and we can do that in just a few quick steps. So first, again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the timecode file for the software that you're using. So if you're using Serato, be sure to have that timecode. Or if you're using Rekordbox or Traktor or Virtual DJ, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the proper timecode file for each of the softwares. Next, you're gonna wanna grab an audio editor. Now my recommendation is Audacity because it's easy to use. It's available for pretty much all platforms, Mac, PC, and Linux. And best of all, it's free. So go ahead to Audacity's website and grab that piece of software and install it on your computer. Okay, so now we have Audacity open. So the first step is we're gonna go ahead and import the timecode signal that we're gonna go ahead and edit. In this case, I'm going to use the record box control signal that we just downloaded. First, we're gonna go ahead and read directly from the original file. It's gonna open it up in this top track right here. Once that's loaded, we'll go up to tracks, add new, and then we'll add a stereo track. Now this is where we're going to actually do all our editing and up here is the original timecode file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the original timecode file and highlight the first two minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy. Then on that bottom track where we're going to do our editing, I'll go ahead and paste that right there. And then I will highlight the next two minutes of the timecode. Go ahead and copy that. Select down here on the second track. Make sure you hit right at the end. It'll go ahead and snap to wherever the edge is. We'll paste again. I'll go ahead and make sure I click on the very end of this. Paste one more time. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight these two sections. Copy those. Paste at the end of that. Copy that again. And then get to the end of that. Paste one more time. Now it's already kind of going off of our screen. We can click right here to zoom out to fit to the project so we can see the entire timecode or audio file that we're editing. So I'm going to go out, highlight this whole section, copy that, then click on the edge, go ahead and paste that. Then I'll zoom out one more time. And notice we're already at about half an hour. So let's go ahead and extend this to at least 90 minutes. So again, I'll go ahead and click at the edge, paste it one more time, zoom out. We're at almost an hour. Let's click paste, zoom out, hour and five minutes. Let's keep going a few more times. All right, now we're at about an hour and a half. So this is pretty much 90 minutes, a little bit more than 90 minutes worth of time code. Now, once we have a good amount of time code, we can go ahead and highlight this end section right here. And we're gonna wanna do this because at the end of the time code signals for most DVSs, they have uh, some special coding at the end that'll put the deck into internal mode so even if the time code runs out it'll go ahead and keep the deck playing so we want to make sure that we copy this just so we keep that feature so again i'll just highlight this section of the original time code right here i'll go ahead and copy that and then i'll place that at the very end of the time code that we just created so i'll zoom out and now you can see this time code is way longer than the original that uh, we downloaded in this case, the record box one. And to me, this is going to be way more useful because now we can have this playing for at least an hour and a half and it'll just keep playing. We don't have to worry about restarting the time code. We don't have to worry about getting the looping right if we're trying to loop in and loop out on the media player that we're using and the time code will just function correctly. So if you have an hour and a half on one side and you still have the other hour and a half on the other side, you can pretty much play at least of a pretty long set using this time code. And of course, if you wanted to, you could extend this as long as you really wanted. Um, I've had time codes that are three hours long, five hours long, 
And because we're saving this as a wave, you can even convert this into an MP3 and save it as that and go ahead and put that on your USB stick and it still doesn't take up that much room. So once you have the time code to the desired length, you want to make sure that you delete the track that's holding the original time code. So this is the only track that's getting exported. Then we're going to go to file, export, and then you have the choice to export as MP3 or wave as well as uh, OGG. You're going to want to either do MP3 or wave. Now I would suggest using MP3, especially if you're using a pretty long extended time code, such as like this, or even three to five hours, like I just talked about to make sure that it'll fit on the USB stick and not take up that much room. And it'll still work perfectly in whatever media player and whatever DVS system that you're using. Now this time code file that you've just created using these few easy steps is way more convenient to use than the stock 15 minute time code that you get with most DVS software. No longer do you have to worry about that time code ending and having to hit previous track on the media player that you might be using or using the loop in and loop out points on the media player to get that time code loop correctly. Now you can focus on more important things such as your song selection, making sure that your transitions are nice and clean, and most importantly, making sure that you're reading the crowd correctly. Now, I highly suggest taking a few minutes out of your day to create an extended time code file just like this one. But before you do that, make sure you like and comment on this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks just like this one. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.